Hey guys, good morning. Uh, so before we start our day, or before I ever start my day, I always make sure Drago is doing really good. And um, I'm gonna show you how spoiled she is. Look at her. Yeah. Look at you. <laughs> All right, enough of her. She needs to be left alone. All right, so how is everyone doing? Um, I hope you guys are doing great. We're starting off our day for me a little early. Uh, not too early. Not as early as I'd like it to be. Um, just daylight savings time and just all that has freaking confused me. Guys, again, good morning. Hopefully everyone's doing great. Um, I'm really excited today and particularly for this video because I get to share something a little bit more about myself or a little bit about my adventures. In uh, approximately like four weeks and a quarter, I think, to be exact, I am going on a freaking cruise. That's right, I'm going on a cruise, uh, a carnival cruise more specifically to Mexico. I, um, you know, I've never, ever, ever been on a cruise and I've always, always wanted to go to the cruise uh, you know ever since i was a kid i used to watch these other kids on tv go on a cruise more specifically with disneyland or disney characters uh, obviously i'm not there yet and i think going on a carnival cruise for the first time would be a good way to familiarize myself with what it's like to be um, on a cruise so regardless i'm going uh, i'm excited i'm sharing with you guys uh, the the entire experience However, I'm pretty sure there's so much going on that I won't be doing it in just a video. I might break it down into three, you know, maybe two. Uh, but yeah, I look forward to doing that for all of you. And hopefully, if you've never been on a cruise uh, and assuming I had a, a positive experience, maybe that might inspire you guys to try it out, right? It's actually not too bad. It's affordable, um, you know, depending on when you get it. I was very lucky, you know, I, I want to say around under 300. I mean, the more stuff you put on it, the more it's going to go up. But it's 300-ish per person, um, and uh, it, it's it's doable. You know, it's not like you know banking over here, but it, it's doable to where you could save up some, and then pay forward uh, and, and doing the cruise. So anyway, I figured I'd share that with all of you. Uh, that's the main thing, and then of course the second thing that I was really excited to share with you is that I am actually starting a mini cut. That's right, a mini cut which I can definitely go more in detail in other videos. But for right now, I'm just going to say that this time I'm just going on a, on a on a somewhat great deficit. I wouldn't say maybe like more than 30%. I'm like between 25, 30-ish, under 30% uh, deficit of my maintenance calories. You know, now that I can walk and uh, do incline or do the elliptical and do the cycle with peripheral heart action, which you know, I'll talk that in another video. But I just feel like by doing more uh, activity, being a little bit more active, I can actually create a greater energy expenditure and therefore cut some calories. So I figured, all right, you know, the cruise is coming up. Kind of want to look good, you know what I mean? Or look better. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's that for now. Uh, what we're going to do now is start a workout. And then from there, we can kind of uh, talk a little bit more about both my cruise and the mini cut. All right, guys, so before I jump right into the uh, cruise excitement and the uh, mini cut, I kind of want to talk about sports psychology and uh, the technique I'm using today. As you're seeing there, uh, you know, I'm clapping my hands, I'm kind of talking to myself in a way that's going to get me what we use or term as aroused. Uh, but more for the general population, I kind of want to say just increasing my energy levels for optimum levels so that way I can perform because it's early. Uh, you know lifting heavy. I'm also on a caloric deficit most Worst it's in the transition period. So that means like my body's trying to adjust to the lower calories um, But once it does I I guess I kind of be somewhat okay and keep going um, In here in this moment um, I'm kind of thinking to myself. What is it I need to do to keep pushing myself and to, to feel pumped up and awake strong and all of the above and sometimes it's what we say to ourselves. And, uh, you know, I had to find, I think, uh, certain instances and experiences to connect to so that way I can feel like, 
you know, I got this. Um, a lot of people say, you know, sometimes I'm not feeling it. And, you know, it's normal. It's very normal to not be feeling it in, in certain days or unmotivated. You know, that's normal. Uh, it's something important for us to take a moment to kind of realize what's going on and then say, okay, where where is it that I want to be in and how do I want to feel? And believe it or not, it really can uh, take place and manifest itself. So I definitely recommend you guys looking into that. And, you know, if you have questions or wanted to learn more about uh, several um, psychological interventions that I use or techniques that I imply uh, or apply <laughs> for my athletes or, or you know, the clients that I work with, you know, by all means, feel free to ask. So uh, now moving forward into my workouts. The workout, the first one you saw me do was the overhead press. It's the super uh, heaviest load of the day. And then now this is the um, dumbbell bench press, which is the moderate exercise of the day. So my reps are between six and eight. And uh, I typically just focus on that range to kind of give me more frequency for the bench press, even though it's not the bench press today. I kind of have it um, kind of like DUP or daily undulating periodization. It's something I've learned, you know, it, from both the literature, other power, power lifters and athletes and kind of implement it into my own style and develop my own program, which I'm so far am very pleased with the results, especially on a deficit. I gotta say it's very effective um, and definitely gonna be putting it out there for everyone to use and to also uh, reap the same results. Here I'm doing some sumo deadlifts. Um, one of my biggest weakness is my posterior chain and it only got worse being uh, you know, in an accident, just laying down, not able to walk. Everything's been in a forward position, sitting down, lying down and a lot more uh, anterior activation. For example, my quads, my hips, my core, my chest, my neck. Muscle groups are, are more engaged and active than my posterior chain, lower back, upper back, hamstrings, and glutes. So sumo deadlifts and doing it in this way with good form uh, and a lot of attention to muscular contraction has definitely helped me um, you know, correct my posture and uh, adding some size and some strength along the way for my hamstrings and my glutes because eventually I want to start lifting heavy for deadlifts. So in order for me to get to that level, I kind of need to start developing uh, muscle tissue, um, you know, awareness, proprioception, and then uh, train this new mass to, to be strong. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's slow progress. It's coming through uh, over time. It's definitely going to get there where I need it to be. And, uh, you know, I'm starting to feel confident that my even my conventional depth lifts are uh, starting to look pretty, uh, pretty good, you know, especially after being injured and having that surgery not so long ago. And here I am, you know, pushing my pushing myself to to the next level. Here is uh, me doing the uh, barbell rows, um, and I'm doing it like with super strict form because I've seen many people do it wrong and injure themselves and then say they have lower back pain or that's a bad exercise. You just, the key here is to keep your posture in check and engage your core as much as possible. So that's exactly what I do. And uh, so far I've had no issues. Um, so yeah, let me just say this real quick with this exercise. It's one of my favorite uh, it favorites for triceps. It places a lot of stress on the tricep heads uh, and I love it. It's been working for me so far and a quick shout out to Michael Hearn for uh, showing this exercise to me. I really like it. Now, as far as the cruise, I can't really say much. I've never been on one. I'm really excited to go on it and I would like to say that if you guys know any tips, suggestions or anything like that, anything like uh you know that might make my trip experience to be better please send it to me send it my way i'm open i would love to hear your thoughts on that finally with the mini cut there's not much else to say with that either it's kind of like 20 to 30 percent deficit from my 28 to 2900 daily intake of calories uh, it's a really well balanced carb, protein, and fat diet, mostly higher in carbs on a daily basis, believe it or not. And it's been helping me because, you know, I'm active in a gym and I work out a lot. So I need the fuel. I need those carbs. Fats are the only things I keep cutting every, every uh, month. 
All right, so we're back. We're back in the castle. Um, I think I covered pretty much everything I wanted to, to share with you guys, um, you know, in the uh, voiceover, you know, as well as the intro. And uh, actually, no, wait, there is one thing I want to share with you guys. Actually, I'll go right now. Um, so, our uh, gym owner, Derek, is really creative uh, and uh, aware of what his gym members want, right? So, real quick, just basically wanted to say that I don't, I have not come across a gym that has sold competitively in prices uh, the same products that they sell like on bodybuilding.com or GNC and Vitamin Shop. So, I got this guy here the same price I would for, uh, you know, bodybuilding.com. However, I would not be paying for shipping costs or, you know, anything like that, you know? So I think that's really cool about having uh, California Premier Fitness as the gym I go to because, you know, if I run at a protein shake or a pre-workout, they got exactly what I need from online, no shipping waiting or uh, shipping costs or anything like that. And I, again, I think it's really cool that he price matches. So um, yeah, that's again, that's it guys. I don't have anything else. I'm a little drained as some of you already saw in the workout. Uh, you know, if you have any questions, comments about my workout routine or anything that I'm going to be doing in my future training because, you know, I'm still on a fat loss phase, uh, yeah, just hit me up. But that's pretty much it. Till next time, I'll see you all in the next video. And of course, yes, pursue your dreams, be the change. And what I mean by that is if you don't like something and you're seeing the same crap every day, be the example. All right? Take care.